Greetings, HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, and I'm here today to show you how to install Palm's new uh, WebOS version 3.0.5. Uh, it was just released earlier uh, today, possibly yesterday. And uh, let me take a look here at the different features that they're offering first. Uh, it looks like there are some enhancement of the uh, core apps, uh, some video calling items. Uh, fast switching between different calendar items is a little bit better. Uh, scrolling, um, email, MP3 compatibility, and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to read this to you because you can see it on the screen yourself. Uh, up above here is a link to the jar file where you can download the web uh, webOS doctor for the 3.0.5 version. Now uh, you could attempt to uh, do the over-the-air update from the device if you choose. Uh, I have been extremely unsuccessful with this and I know many of you have as well just based on the uh, emails that I've gotten from showing previous version upgrades. Uh, so I'm going to recommend that you go and download this file and go that route uh, just for simplicity's sake. Uh, this file is about uh, 230 megabytes and uh, it's a very handy tool to have. Uh, the WebOS Doctor will uh, also can be used to uh, bring your system back to default uh, ch should you ever choose to uh, go that route or have some problems. Now I do have to uh, stop right here and say uh, if you, like the majority of people who have an HP touchpad, have installed Android on your device, this is going to break your Android uh, menu. The MoBoot, uh, which sits on the uh, startup uh, core of your device uh, will no longer function. So after you uh, update your device to the uh, 3.0.5, you'll have to go back and reinstall MoBoot and uh, we'll show you how to do that uh, later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recommend that you download this file, read the enhancements, uh, and then uh, we're going to go from there. I do have the uh, that file on my desktop here already, and then I also have the uh, uh, Novacom installer just in case my drivers don't work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to uh, put my uh, device into HP recovery mode and then we're going to run this and go from there. Okay, this is my MoBoot menu. Uh, I do have uh, Cyanogen Mod. Uh, actually, right now I'm currently running Xron's build of uh, Android. Uh, but I'm going to boot into WebOS to show you the current version of my device and just to show you that uh, everything is functioning like uh, I would imagine most of your uh, touchpads are currently. Okay, so now we're into the uh, web OS. And uh, just to give you a, uh, a demonstration here, I'm going to go into my menu and into settings and into device info. And uh, what you'll notice here is that I am currently only running the 3.0.0. Uh, this is my new 32 gig touchpad and I have done nothing to the WebOS at all. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could, and I'm gonna just show you here, in the menu, I can go to system updates and uh, if I wanted to attempt to go in and uh, try to update this uh, over the air, this is where I would go. Now, I'm not connected to my Wi-Fi or anything right now, so this isn't going to work. But this is where you would go if you wanted to try to do the uh, over the air. If you do try to do the over the air and it fails miserably on you, uh, you can still follow my... Uh, my guide here using the web OS doctor. So I'm going to go back into device info and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the reset options and I'm going to do restart and while it's restarting I'll just give it a moment here I'm holding the volume up button now. The volume up button is the one to the left in case anybody is uh, wondering that. And by holding up the by holding the volume up button, I get this USB uh, symbol, and this shows that it is ready to receive what the WebOS doctor has to give it. 
Okay, so a little bit different from my other videos. I, I have a new camera, so I'm trying out this different format. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, both sides of this, uh, so that way you can see what actually occurs when you do plug it in. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my device in to the USB port now. And my computer is now trying to install some device drivers. And I'll show you that. And so it's trying to install device drivers right now. And what it's trying to do is it's trying to install the uh, Novacom drivers. And it comes up with a Novacom booty, uh, which indicates that the Novacom drivers are installed correctly. Uh, if for some reason yours does not come up and say Palm Novacom booty, or you're not able to find the Novacom uh, in your device manager, uh, and I'll even show you that as well, uh, I'll go into my... Uh, properties and into device manager and uh, it's under Palm Novacom modules here you'll see the Palm Novacom booty if you don't see Palm Novacom booty uh, in your device manager uh, then the Novacom drivers aren't loaded correctly and at that point you can go in and actually um, reload it and I'll, I'll put a link in the video description on where to get that file. So from here, and let me uh, zoom back out. Okay, I am ready to run the WebOS Doctor. So I'm going to go and I have uh, the WebOS Doctor file here. It is a JAR file with a J-A-R extension. Uh, that J-A-R indicates that you do need to have uh, you need to have Java installed on your system. If you don't have Java installed on your system, then uh, you'll want to go and download that from java.com. So I double click it and it comes up here and I will uh, zoom in to demonstrate. Okay, and uh, it wants me to pick my country, so I'm United States, and I hit next. Confirm English, yes. License agreement, yeah, I read that. And uh, it says next. Okay, so it's now checking the system. And so as it stands right now, my device is just sitting there. Uh, it doesn't show anything as of yet. Right now what it's doing is it's downloading, okay, okay, so it asked me to connect to my device, which I already have, and I'll hit next. Okay, so now it says don't disconnect your device, and it's spinning along, and the device itself is just sitting there. Ah, uh, there we go. So now we have the HP logo, and it uh, looks like I'm at about 4%. All right, so now the computer just uh, toggled back and forth, indicating that uh, it's turned off and turned back on uh, some driver. I'm assuming it's some Novacom driver. And it uh, looks like I'm at about uh, 8% now. And you can see that the device itself has a little uh, chip now on the screen. And I'll, I'll show you that here. I think it's pretty uh, visible on the video here. And it uh, looks like I'm at 12%. Uh, this is, uh, while, we're, while we're watching this uh, install, that magic 12%, there's been a few people who have struggled with the 12%. They can't get beyond the 12%. Uh, there are some uh, forums out there uh, that will tell you if, uh, or how to get beyond that if for some reason it freezes. Um, it's not something that I've ever experienced, so I have a feeling that uh, you have to be in a pretty uh, a strange situation in order for that to occur. Now, none of this is sped up, so you're seeing this real time. Okay, I've gotten past the 12%, so now I'm at 13%, which is a good thing. 
and now it starts to scoot along. I have a feeling that the reason why people are having problems with the 12% is because that's probably the uh, initial uh, core or kernel, uh, and, and that's the part that, you know, if people have too many uh, kernel uh, you know, third-party kernels or extra kernels or tweaked or hacked kernels, uh, you're opening yourself up to the possibility of having uh, issues. And, and so uh, just like when you're installing MoBoot or Android and you uh, run into issues where those don't install, a lot of times it's because you've tweaked your web OS. And so I always encourage people, if you're going to install Android onto your device, that you... Um, at the very least, remove those kernel tweaks. Uh, a lot of times, I encourage people to just run a full WebOS doctor on your device before installing Android, just to make sure you're not uh, opening yourself up for failure. So it looks like we're at about uh, 28 per 30 percent. Okay, so we're moving along pretty swimmingly here. Now once this is all done, uh, the device itself will reboot again and it will take a horrible amount of time before the webOS will actually come back up. And once the webOS does come back up, uh, it will need to be set up. You'll have to put in your uh, credentials, your, your Palm uh, login, and it will attempt to re-download any apps that you have downloaded uh, in the past. It'll try to reinstall those along with all the other uh, fun items uh, that come with this new version of the WebOS. Um, just because we have the time, and I know people uh, are wondering, I actually don't go into WebOS any longer. Uh, I, I don't have any reason to go into WebOS. I don't have any apps that uh, are on WebOS exclusively that I can't live without. Uh, I don't do a lot of uh, video conferencing, so it doesn't concern me as of right now that the Android camera um, is virtually non-existent. That doesn't bother me at all. Uh, not to say that I wouldn't love to have the camera working, uh, it's just that this camera is so mediocre in the first place that uh, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Looks like we've breached the 50% mark. And uh, that's a good thing. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, stop the video uh, at this point and uh, let it finish up. And then I will start it back up right before it hits 100%. Okay, it just finished. Uh, it says reset complete and my device has now uh, flipped over and uh, it looks like it's rebooting. Now let me just show you what the screen says here. It says that, uh, that the reset is complete uh, and I can hit done and I'm just going to go ahead and do that and hit done here. Okay, and that goes away. So that's it. Um, that, that's it in a nutshell uh, in terms of the interaction between the computer and the touchpad. Now, the touchpad itself, like I said, is going to uh, take its merry time uh, getting back into uh, the web OS. Now, it, those, you know, you've all unpacked your touchpad for the first time and turned it on for the first time, and you remember how frustrating it was for it to actually get to a usable point uh, the first time it's turned on. That's what you're going Going to experience now. Uh, so at this point, uh, there's no need for me to sit here and videotape it sitting and doing nothing uh, for a good five or ten minutes or so, however long it's going to take. Uh, once it's back up and running and I'm back into WebOS, uh, I'll, I'll show you how to put the MoBoot back on the device. Okay, well, after entering in all of my vital information, my Palm account information, and numerous reboots, and staring at a glowing HP orb. I do believe that I have finally gotten it to the point where it's going to boot into the uh, WebOS and show me that I was successful in my ventures here. So we'll just give it a 
few more minutes here. I have decided that the uh, installation of the WebOS uh, is kind of universal for anybody who's just using it as the WebOS. Uh, I'm not going to show you in this video how to install the MoBoot uh, to get your Android back up and running. I will do that in a uh, supplemental and a separate video. Uh, so be sure to look for that video in my channel. And uh, since I have the opportunity uh, to share all this with you, be sure to check out the other videos in my channel. Uh, some of it is uh, WebOS and some of it is Android. Well, most of it's Android, uh, but you may find some uh, uh, beneficial uh, tutorials and reviews in there. All right, so look at that. That looks very uh, WebOS-y. Uh, let's go in and see under settings and device info. And it looks like I was successful. Uh, looks like I do have uh, WebOS 3.0.5. All right, so this has been uh, Reverend Kyle demonstrating for you how to upgrade your uh, HP Touchpad WebOS to the new 3.0.5. And again, uh, if you were running Android, this did break it. So uh, we will install that in uh, the next video.